Hello guys, sometimes you might have a requirement to do some um, files or text files manipulation. And let's say, for example, you would like to do um, a deployment to iBuild Artifact, but before that, you would like to do some manipulation by, let's say, injecting some data into it before it gets deployed to the targeted uh, application server or to the targeted environment. So Urban Code Deploy allows you to do that um, using its native plugins. So the first thing you would do is to actually go to the Urban Code plugin website and then look for the text utility plugin. And basically the text utility plugin allows you to append text to iFile, check file contains string, conversion from XML to JSON, search and replace, and so on, okay? So you don't need to play around with, let's say, shell scripting, or maybe with set uh, command line or regex and so on, because the plugin really is available for you. You can use it and it makes your life easy in case you would like to um, um, avoid using uh, uh, shell commands and so on, or maybe scripting. Okay, so this is the first plugin. The second plugin will be, if I go to the settings over here and I go to the automation plugins, the second plugin will be file utils. So if you go again to the um, Urban Code Deploy plugin website and then you search for file utils, you will find this plugin. And this is basically for deleting, creating directories and replacing tokens in a file. Token basically is a placeholder for you to replace it with an actual um, let's say a value dynamically during a deployment or during a running process. Okay, so those two plugin file utils as well as the text utils, both of them. So now let me just show you quickly what I have done um, for the reading and writing to files. So I have created a process over here. It's called rw files, and if I go to the design section over here. This is basically the, I would say the workflow, okay? The first thing is deleting files, directories. I'm just cleaning out the agent directory for RW files from any old artifacts. The second thing is cloning the Git repository um, where the text file um, that I would like to manipulate is, is available. So if I go to the GitHub, okay, you see the read property file. You can actually see the uh, the env.txt and this is basically the file that I would like to manipulate. Okay, so I have the dev environment credentials, I have the SIT environment credentials and I would like to Urban Code Deploy to inject the production credentials um, just right before it gets deployed to the uh, targeted system or to the targeted application server. Okay, so here, git clone, I'm just cloning the repository. If I click on it over here, I'm just using shell script and urban code deploy agent, um, they, uh, they already have the git command line tools. So you don't need to install it by yourself. It's already available for you. So you can see git clone, single branch, and then this is basically the git repository. And then if I go to the read property file, and this is a very, very important step, the read property file, it basically, um, allows Urban Code Deploy to read this file and then extract the, the property and the value so that you can reference them within your workflow or within your um, steps. Okay, so if I click on it and then you can see the property file is this is the name of it. Working directory, you can actually just leave this empty because it will by default reference to the working directory. Okay, and then this is basically what I have where I have my env.txt file. Good. And then once this step read property file is executed automatically, it will ex uh, um, it will extract the properties and the values so that you can actually be able to reference them. This step I will just leave it okay because it might actually confuse you guys but anyway so if i look at this step echo extract uh, um, echo extracted data from env that uh, text if i click on it it's just a simple shell okay step where i actually have a command to do echo sit url and then i am basically referencing the sit url 
okay using the native urban code commands so um, basically i'm here i'm doing dollar sign curly brackets read property file uh, api m sit url so i can actually reference to this SIT URL. If I want a reference to SIT USR or maybe pass, then just basically change this into that um, that property name. Okay, and the read property file is the same is the step name. So here is the step name called read property file. So if I change this, for example, to read property file, let's say example. Okay and then I click the OK button, then I have to also go to the to this step and then I have to change this to read property file and then I have to write example. Okay, so this is basically what you can actually do. So this is really beautiful because you are, um, because Urban Code Deploy allows you to extract these properties and their values so that you can reference them within your process or within your deployment workflow without the need for you to do some kind of shell scripting and manipulation uh, manually using shell scripts and so on, okay? So here I have another step called append text to I file, so which is basically this one. Oops. So append text to I file, okay? If I click on it over here, you can see that the file path where I would like to append that text. And this is basically the content of the text that I would like to append to, okay, to the file. So I would like to inject the UCD, um, sorry, I would like to inject the production URL, the username and the password as well to the, to the env.txt file before it gets deployed to that targeted environment, okay? And then, for example, here, uh, would you like to start uh, or append this to a new line? And then I just ticked it, which basically says, yes, please add this content uh, in a new line. OK, and then here you can see the print out um, ENV text after appending just for me to debug and to show you guys. So what I'm doing here is I'm just cat uh, showing the content of the ENV the text file after it has been manipulated by urban code deploy. Okay, and then this is the finish, uh, um, uh, finish, I would say, uh, step. And this one, ignore, um, I don't want to confuse you more. So, yeah, so a couple of things, as I said, a pin text to a file, this is a very critical step, as well as you have read property file, read properties from XML file, for example, if you would like to read um, the properties uh, from XML files. You can also do uh, do from JSON as well, okay? If I click on the utility section over here and then I uh, go to the file utils, you can see all the processes or all the steps that you can actually use for uh, to manipulate, um, let's say, files, directories, creating a zip file and so on. I mean, you can do all of these using the scripting and command lines, but just in case you would like to use uh, a cleaner, easier way using urban code deploy because remember you are not the only person who will be working probably and maintaining this um, de uh, deployment process probably there will be uh, many people colleagues and so on who will be working with you and might not have the knowledge to actually uh, do shell scripting or bash so yeah text uh, text util plugin you see append text to a file check a uh, file contains string, converting a file from XML to JSON, search and replace and so on. Cool. So now let me just go and run the process because I don't want the video to be longer than that. So I'm just going to run the process. And now you can see that the first step is to clean the directory from any old um, or outdated build artifacts. And then I want Urban Code Deploy to um, the agent to um, clone the repository so that we can start manipulating this file. Cool. So you can see it over here. It's been uh, it's been cloned, and then read property file. So you can see that the properties from the env.txt file has been read. And if you would like to see and check that, you can see this icon over here. If you click on it, okay, and you can see that the input properties and then the view output properties. So if you click on the view output properties, you can see that Urban Code Deploy have extracted these properties from the env the, uh, text file and also the values. And now this means that you can actually reference 
these properties and their values within your process step. So if I if I go to the echo extracted data from um, env.txt file, you can actually see that SIT URL HTTPS my site that AE. And this is actually referenced from the read property file um, property. Okay. And then here, um, appending text to a file. So I have appended this new text to a file. Cool. And then here I'm just printing out this text. And this is how, uh, how it looks like as a final result. And then, of course, the process has completed. Okay. So um, ideally, you will have a couple of other steps to deploy that file and along with the build artifacts, whatever, to that specific environment. Um, yeah. So this is basically the video. And I hope it really benefits you guys if you have anything. Uh, any question, please leave it um, in the comment below. Thank you guys for watching and uh, have a good day.